man. What's happening with you, man? It's your boy, YB, your boy, your boy. And, man, I came here to keep a player with y'all, man. You know, your boy gonna always keep a player with you, you know what I'm saying? And here's the topic at hand. Keeping the damn system out your business. So I'm gonna tell you my stance right now. When it comes to child support, I'm in disagreements. Because I believe you shouldn't be having a system in your business. We all know what the system is here for. It was the terror of black families, right? And we all talk about all this bullshit talking about you, feel me, how y'all wanna, you know what I'm saying, uh, reverse the trend, you know, you know, break the trend of, of what's been going on. What are y'all doing? Y'all ain't doing shit, y'all doing the same shit. Relying on the damn system. So look, ladies, right? And gentlemen, it should go. Now look, as far as that marriage wise, I don't really believe in that piece of paper. I feel like you can be married without that piece of paper, right? You know what I'm saying? As, as long as you two want to understand it. So piece of paper or not, it should go men, woman, children, leave that legacy behind. But y'all, yeah, I'm saying y'all, you feel me? Because look, y'all out here, you know what I'm saying? Y'all talking about babies first, and then we going, and then that's it. Maybe I'll think about, maybe I'll think about being with this man who done busted in me for the rest of my life. Like, what the hell, you feel me? Like, we got little niggas rolling around this motherfucker with no dads. And y'all talking about, you feel me, who raised these niggas? You single moms raised these niggas, you feel me? These niggas out here with no dads. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I ain't saying everybody, you feel me, who got a mom and dad is just his is just best human being on earth, though. But with a, with a structured family, if, if the world had more structured families, I bet you the world would be a better place than it is right now. I bet you we'd be able to have a better chance of coming together, you feel me, to sit over there and then take over what's rightfully ours. I bet you that. Like, what the fuck, you feel me? Like, ladies, hold yourself accountable. You lay down with Ray Ray. You ain't had to let him bust in you, but you did. You made a poor pussy decision. I mean, a lot of the times, you feel me, these men tell you they don't want the baby and you still had a baby. And then so when you decide to have a baby, all of a sudden, you feel me, you feel like, well, you feel like he should be accountable. Well, here's where I'm at on it, right? I believe a man should take care of his children, regardless if he's in a life, uh, uh, regardless if he's dealing with the moms or not, right? I feel like, you feel me, he should have some type of presence, whether it be financial, um, physically, or both. You know what I'm saying? But y'all ladies don't like to be held accountable for y'all poor pussy decisions. Y'all laid on y'all back without any intent on being with this man for the rest of your life. He busted in you. You had a baby, he left. Now you mad. Now you want to get in the system. And a lot of and and and, 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 and hear my thing, right? For these for these dudes that don't want to be in a lady's life, you feel me? Like, why are you getting mad at this man and trying to make this man life hell? Cause there is a lot of good dads out there, you know what I'm saying? Like. We ain't gonna act like black people, like black men ain't good dads because they are, they are. And just because, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you made a poor pussy decision. You didn't do what you were supposed to do as far as vetting that man. Now all of a sudden you feel me? Niggas ain't shit. No, you ain't shit. You feel me like you ain't shit. You should have sit over there and did better. You made a poor pussy decision. You made a poor pussy decision. 
Hold yourself accountable. Quit fucking all these dudes. Fuck one dude and be with that dude for the rest of your life. Have a family. Y'all think we supposed to sit over and accept y'all shit. You got all these motherfuckers busting in. You got hella baby daddies and shit. And y'all want to talk about y'all the prize? You was not the motherfucking prize, homie. I'm sorry. And then and then we and, and, and then men ain't shit because they don't want to take care of another man's kids. What? Talking about oh a real man take care of them? No, who the fuck they don't, nigga. <laughs> like nigga, like that's an option to take care of a ma another man's kids, nigga. The fuck is you talking about, homie? Now look, men, we got to do better too. We got to vet these women, too. We got to stop busting in these women, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to just hold the women accountable because it's, it, it's a collective effort. You feel me? We, we as, as, as black men and black women, we both got to do better. But let's keep it, a, let's keep it playing. In order for that man to get off, you got to let him inside of you. It takes two. It takes two. If you don't have the, if you don't have the structure and the foundation before you had that kid, you shouldn't be having no motherfucking kids, homie. That nigga in the street, I bet you, he probably ain't got no, he ain't got no father figure. More times than not, he ain't got no father figure. And, 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 and where it goes with you women thinking y'all can raise a man? Y'all don't even know what the fuck a man is. How the fuck you gonna raise one? Huh? Huh? The, you don't even know what a fucking a, a, a man got, a, a, what a man goes through. You know what I'm saying? Know y'all fucking roles, man and woman. These women want to sit over there and be men, and these men out here acting like some bitch ass niggas, homie. Like, come on, bro. Man, take charge. Nigga, you are the leader. She's supposed to follow, and she can't get with your motherfucking program. Kick that motherfucker to the side. Type shit. Grow some nuts. Grow some motherfucking nuts, homie. I got your feelings involved and shit. For what? Man, these hoes out here keeping them more player than y'all, man. These hoes ain't got no feelings. They just know, can he can he provide this? I want this. Even, even the most ugliest hoes out here got, got higher standards than you dudes, man. What the fuck is going on? Fix this shit. Keep that shit playing though. And you females, though, like, y'all out here acting like y'all work more than what y'all work. Y'all come with 10 baby daddies. You want a man that's in shape, but you fat as fuck. How you want a man, you feel me, a, a, a bodybuilder type man with a pack, big arms and shit like that, and a handsome man, but you weigh more than that, man. You 260 plus. And you a bum with hella kids and hella baby daddies. But you the prize? <laughs> nigga, if you don't knock that shit off, nigga, knock it off, man. Come on, bro. Knock that shit off. Knock it off. And y'all think because of, uh, uh, and, 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 it, and it should be killing me, right? These females thinking, acting like a man makes them strong. No, it don't. It makes you look stupid. Men respect feminine women. Soft women. Women with decent shape. I ain't saying you got to be this fit-ass woman. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but have some pride about your appearance, though. Nigga, you should be able to walk that stairs without breathing hella hard. What the fuck is you talking about? Lose some weight. 
It ain't a coincidence that you look better when you lose weight. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence that you feel better when you lose weight. Men, we look at appearance. We look at, we look at your outer first. That's what gets us first. They lay, they reason, they, they lay down with you because they don't see you as wives. We don't see a lot of you females as wives. You don't conduct yourself as wives. So why the fuck would they wife you? The fuck is you talking about, homie? Men, these women can talk all they want. But they respect the men who bossed up, though. They respect the men who on their grind, who ain't in his feelings, and who takes charge. Quit doing all that emotional, that crying shit because that female don't want you. Nigga, you don't own her. Nigga, go on to the next. There's somebody that like you, bro. Like I always go to my mother, I like who like me. And you know somebody like you, because they're gonna show you. And if you gotta, if you gotta think about it, they don't like you, homie. Take charge. Grow some nuts. Boss up. Take a risk. Sometimes you're gonna have to take a little time, you from your wife for some pussy. You feel me to go focus on your grind. The pussy gonna come when you get that paper, man. And that's facts. So what you gonna do? It's on us too, because we letting them do that shit. We letting them do that shit. If y'all took charge, I guarantee you these females wouldn't be doing what the fuck they be doing. I guarantee you. It's up to y'all because don't let them go on unless you allow it. See it on your program? Kick that motherfucker to the curb. Nigga, me? Yeah, I had to go through, I had to go through my shit, my, my motherfucking self, right? But then it comes to a time where you gotta wake up. We too old for this shit. Like I said, women, going back to you, you ain't no nigga quit acting like it. Make up your mind. You want equality? Or do you want traditional roles? You can't have both. Because we ain't equal. A man and a woman is not equal, homie. <laughs> we is not equal. So if you think that, you crazy as fuck. Because if, 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 if you think we equal, then how about you start taking care of these niggas then? Quit crying. You go boss up and you take care of these niggas. Oh, I ain't think so. Oh, because you won't. You want you you want this nigga right right with that motherfucking six pack built like a Greek god with long pockets. Oh okay, I ain't think so. You mad? You mad? Cause you gotta contribute, nigga. We in a world. Everybody ain't a millionaire. Everybody ain't making six figures. Everybody ain't making seventy five thousand. So you're going to have to play your role. Oh, don't get me started on if you're talking about you a Christian. I got a video coming for that. Don't get me started on that Christian shit. Play your role. Listen, shut the fuck up. Quit crying talking about there ain't no good man. No, you ain't a good woman, homie. Because all the good women that I know was snatched up. It's either this. 
either that good woman, you feel me, ain't ran into no good man yet, so she doing her thug thizzle, or she snatched up. There's no in between. You can't call yourself a good woman, you fucking hella dudes. Well, you got hella niggas energies in you, homie. Keep it playing. Keep that shit playing. Don't nobody, don't no, don't no man who own this shit want to deal with a woman who got hella bodies, homie. Ain't nobody accepting that shit. Nobody want that shit. Bro, have some self-respect. Man, you fucking hella dudes, you ain't got no self-respect for yourself, homie. And that's facts. You want to talk about all these double standards and shit? Nigga, of course it is, nigga. We can walk around without our shirt off. Can y'all? No, because niggas going to be on your lawn. Oh, nigga, she walking around with the titties out with the pussy out. You feel me? But it's normal for that man, you feel me, to walk around without his shirt. A man is supposed to be a protector and a provider. And that's just not in the financial court, in the category. That's That that falls in a lot of categories, homie. That man is a leader. You need to be under some leadership. Because evidently, y'all can't make no... Evidently, y'all don't make good decisions because look at the men that y'all laying with. Y'all laying with ain't shit men. That's part of your decision making. Look at where your life is at. Now, this doesn't go for all men. This doesn't go for all women. But this goes for the majority of y'all. Because the majority of y'all ain't shit. We're going to keep it a stack. You're going to run into a bad woman more than likely than you're going to run into a good one. And that's facts. I don't give a fuck what y'all think. This shit, this shit is facts, my nigga. Keep it playing. Keep it playing. So what y'all going to do? Is we going to keep sitting over? The, is, is, is we going to keep laying on our back? Making poor pussy decisions. I mean, because, man, like this, like the homie KS said, woman controls access to sex, man controls access to marriage. So while you hoes thinking that y'all got time, you don't. You don't. You don't got time. The older you get, the uglier you get. There's few exceptions, you feel me, of older women. Because we be like, don't we be like, oh, she look good for her age, right? She looks good for her age. Oh, he looks good for his age. Man, we have longer. We could do our, we could do our thug this for, for longer. We got time. You don't. That's facts. Why you, why you think your grand, why you think your mama bitter? Why you think your sister bitter? Why you think you bitter? Listen, look, find you to find you a decent man that can sit over there and lead you the correct way and get under his leadership. Have babies, enjoy your life. Man, you got to ball, like I said, boss the fuck up. Man up, grab your dick, nigga. Nigga, leave these females, my nigga. Women, shut the fuck up. Because you get mad, nigga, when these niggas beat you the fuck up. But you want to act like niggas. Because, nigga, niggas don't talk to niggas the way that y'all be talking to these dudes, my nigga. Because we know, my nigga, you, a nigga talking grease, nigga, I'm just going to crack your shit, nigga. Or it's going to lead to some more violence. Or we're going to take it there. But guess what? Y'all sit over there on that shit. Y'all take it there. Y'all. Hello, officer. Um, this nigga Justin done hit me and shit. Here come Justin, fucking up Justin life because you sit over there and said some stupid shit and he reacted. Now he should have had better, he should have had better control of his actions, but you should have shut the fuck up. So it goes both ways. So what the fuck, so, so, so what's cracking? Is we gonna change or is we gonna keep going on this dumb shit? 
Now, like I said, let's go back. Let's, let's rewind a little bit. Let's go back to the shape. Let's go back to shape. I feel like men should be in decent shape too. We should be bumping some weights too. We should be strong. We shouldn't be hella big. You know what I'm saying? We, we should have cardio. We should be, I feel like we should be war ready at all times. Physically, mentally, and spiritually, my nigga. But that's another video though, right? Wait a minute. Shut the fuck up and go make that man some food and be grateful that somebody want to deal with your shit. You think that grass greener, but it ain't, homie. Is we going to change? Is we going to... Is we going to make the world a better place or what? Is we going to come together or what? Like, come on. I hold, I hold both parties accountable. Men and women. No women can't raise no motherfucking men. Is exceptions to every world, but I bet you the exception wasn't that woman raising that, raising that, raising that little ass boy to be a man. Because even, even, even the woman, even, even y'all know y'all say that shit, but y'all don't even believe that shit, homie. Because guess what? All that shit that y'all be posting in y'all little profiles. Oh, I'm looking for a, I'm looking for a step daddy. Why are you looking for a step daddy if you can do it on your own? If you want to do all that, nigga, be gay. You need men. We need men. We need men to be men, and we need women to be women. We don't need niggas in the world. We don't need bitches in the world. We need men, and we need real women. So let's get this shit together, homie. Keep it playing. At all motherfucking times, homie. I'm out.